To other news, the Federal Circuit Court has thrown out a racial vilification case against three Queensland University of Technology students. Live to Shani Kim outside the court in Brisbane. Shani, why was it dismissed? Karina, the judge basically said the case was too weak and unlikely to succeed. It all started back in 2013 when one of the students, Alex Wood, went into a, uh, in a computer lab on campus reserved for Indigenous students and then was asked by an Indigenous admin officer to leave. Mr Wood then posted about it on Facebook, suggesting QUT was stopping segregation with segregation. And then more people commented on the post, prompting the admin officer in question to sue them under Section 18C of the Racial Discrimination Act. Now, this provision basically makes it illegal for someone to do things that are reasonably likely to offend, uh, insult, humiliate or intimidate someone on the basis of their ethnicity or race. Earlier this year, three of the students who were being sued tried to have the case against them thrown out, arguing it just wasn't strong enough that uh, a reasonable person was unlikely to be offended by the posts. And today, Justice Michael Jarrett agreed with them and threw the case out. Here's what uh, two of the men's lawyer had to say outside court. Obviously, this is a great result for the three young men involved, but the tragedy is that the case has got this far. There is one person to blame for that. One person. And that's Professor Triggs, the head of the Australian Human Rights Commission. Now, the Human Rights Commission has declined to respond directly to Mr Morris's comments, but it says that it does respect the court's decision. Now, there are other parties being sued in this case, and their matter returns to court later this month, Karina. Shani Kim reporting there.